Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to another episode of Stonehearth. Ching. So, uh, as we talk here, I'm just going to clear out some stuff out of our inventory. Um, yeah, so, not really doing much right now, just kind of building up all these buildings and just trying to hold off on stuff. Uh, we have all those, we have those, I've got enough of that, and that's all the table things over here that we're building for all of this stuff here so yeah uh two of the buildings are almost done uh one residence is pretty much done uh all we got to do is just finish doing all this uh one thing i realized is these had to be one away from the wall here so people can get behind and take down the stuff over there uh, one of the problems i ran into i think was with these two i actually had to build many little uh i had to build stuff um, here and inside this to, to get things going. And I looks like the uh, the stairs for some reason were not incorporated into this building. Um, I don't know why. Is she got another person? Nope. We get the money's worth. We just don't have the food. So once we get the food, we will be laughing. Another thing. Um, that Ogo guy still MIA. I don't know where he is, why he hasn't shown, or or what, but it is very strange. Very, very strange. I'm not going to complain. Uh, we got the thing built already, so it's just a matter of him showing up. Um, and that's it. Uh, one person mentioned they figure that they may have spawned on one of our other islands over here. And just pathfinding can't figure out a way to get to us because there's no way... To get to us, um, they actually can. They can actually go right in through here, 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 and here, and then to us. Um, unless they're in a spot where they can't get down. Like if they're over here, for example, I mean, they can go across here. Um, if they've spawned basically in a spot where they can't get out of, like on top of one of these things, that would make sense. Like on that one. Um, or even like on any of these other than the, the the dirt. Or even, my favorite one is, if they spawn on these, it should be fine. I think that might be them there, actually. Nope, it's just you again. No one of these things again. So yeah, I don't know what uh, or why that guy hasn't uh, spawned yet with his, uh, with his buddies. But I'm not going to complain because... It'll be uh, fun and entertaining once he uh, once he shows up. We've already done the campaign to a large to a large point, so kind of wish you could set up like waypoints and stuff for these guys. And you're gonna be back in ten hours. Uh, I did set set up some like pump, two things of pumpkins, but we just don't have enough people, so. Yeah, um, things are going as is. Three stone malls, no thank you. I already got three of them sitting in my inventory and don't know what to do with them. Um, but yeah, so we got 21 people. Um, the plan was to build enough for 24. Ooh, we're, we're going to get to the point where once this is done being built, we are probably going to run into a problem where we're going to need more space for more people. Um... The plan is to do more more homes, maybe here, and then that's it. Because uh, then we want people living in the the more fancier stuff up here. Um, the plan is to fortify this spot here with like big walls and stuff like that, but have it look fancy, or even this one here, and have like the fancier people live on one of the different ridges. So. Um, the homes, the little hovels here, the little, the little one-person homes, I'm not going to tell anyone to specifically live in any of these. Um, only these five here are going to have, and even the ones that are associated with the cook, uh, the engineer, and the herbalist, um, all three of those are going to have a specific house where, they, where the person lives. Yeah, okay. So we did not get watermelon. I've never seen watermelon before. I was actually kind of hoping to get it, but... Fortunately, we didn't have the the ability. 
kind of sucks. Uh, two of the buildings look like they're almost done. Uh, what they're going to do is they're going to do all the construction first, and then they're going to go and start putting in, like, the doors and chairs and stuff. Um, I mean, they've been doing it in the odd building here and there, but it's very strange. Like, they'll do it for one or two, but then they won't do it for all of them. Still short by ten for the food. We missed what, the one day by one, and now it's just we're missing by, by ten every day. Our food is slowly dwindling. Our, uh, yeah, we have no rotting food, which is not a good sign. People are almost eating our food right when they, uh, right when it comes off the vine, almost. Uh, let's look at our inventory real quick. I've had multiple problems in some games where, no, we got a lot of food. Uh, we got six things of, uh, rotten food. It's probably still in the, still rotting in one of these. Um... One of the things you really have to work look out for when your town's growing is having too many resources and not enough food. Um, most people don't realize this, but your actual hearthlings give you a limit cap. Uh, what that limit cap is, I don't know. Um, like, right here. This gives you your gold limit, but it really doesn't tell you... Um, what the limit for your uh, your inventory is. Like, this is how much our town is worth, buildings-wise. This is how much our agriculture is worth. Overall, all three of these combined is worth this much. Um, edibles, that's how much food we have, and this is our military strength. But nowhere in here does it say... Oh, there it is, right there. So we got 3,150, and we're almost halfway through it. Um, and we're actually, are we increasing it or reducing it? Yeah, we're reducing it right now with people. So this will go up your, your item limit the, with the more people you have. Forewarning, because it just happened in my private game. Watch that very meticulously. Very meticulously. You can really, really get it screwed up if you don't pay attention to it. Because what will happen is you'll actually run out of inventory space and your farmers will stop collecting food for you. Like, they'll stop farming altogether because there's nowhere for the food to go. Um, and you kind of run into this thing where there's a backlog, basically, of, of inventory space. And it, it can come back to bite you in the ass pretty badly. Pretty badly. And like I said, it's happened in my, my private game. Um, everyone starved and died. Because <laughs> I ran out of inventory space. And no one was collecting food. No one was willing to collect food. Because there was... Uh, um, no inventory space. But because there's no inventory space, I couldn't tell someone to build something. Because if I tried to tell them to build something, to take up some of that inventory space, it would be taken over by whatever was built. Um, and whatever was backlogged. So if I had, like, I wanted to build, like, a, a pile of, of stone, which is one item... And it replaces, I think it's eight. It would work, but unfortunately there was still a bunch of ore or rock and stone laying around. So they would go and they would collect the remaining stone and rock. And I would slowly basically refill my inventory up before they even had a chance to get food. Um, yeah, it came back to bite me in the butt quite, quite badly. So... Could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse, but uh, overall... You know, it's pretty good. They're starting to take the uh, the scaffolding down now. So soon we will be building and placing doors and uh, all that other stuff. Oh, heard one getting placed. So things are going to get placed real fast. And there's a random log on top of that there. Wait for harvests. Not ready for harvest. Not ready for harvest. Immature wheat it hasn't hit puberty yet. Uh, when they take out this, that's gonna hurt my guys a little bit. Uh, in the meantime, are they placing stuff over here? No. What are they placing? Where are they placing stuff right now? 
Oh, they're placing doors or uh, chairs and tables and stuff right now. Okay. Like I'm hearing them put stuff down, but I'm trying to figure out where it is. Uh, yes. Alright, that is two farmers now that we'll have extra. So now we have five farmers. That should be enough. You know what? I'm kind of nervous. Let's add a sixth. Come on, carpenter. Make that thing for me. Come on, Carpenter. There they go. Done. All right. That should be enough to get us those uh, those pumpkins now. There's only three baskets of pumpkins, so we should be fine. Uh, that means we only have, what, two people? No, four people placing stuff for these, which is no big deal. Oh, come on. Whoa! I've never seen one of these things attack before. I've always seen these things like stay by some sort of thing. Protect yourself over there, please. Cool, good for you. I still need those pumpkins. Come on, guys, get get me these pump get 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 us these damn pumpkins. Problem is, there's a backlog of stuff for these farmers. I don't think I'm gonna make it in time. Yes. I thought for another that said Herrick to Linder. You are a farmer. So are you. Oh, come on, people. How many farmers do we have now? We have like what six, eight, three, we had six. Guess what? We got seven now. I thought that person was going there. Come on. Yes. Thank you. Who are you? Who are you? You are Leia Framer. Thank you so much. No, why are you... Why did you... Oh, that hurts my head. She went and started collecting these and then turned around and started to... We have one. We have one basket. No, don't... Don't plant. Collect. Thank you. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Good. Inventory. How many... How many things have... have uh, uh, we have three baskets. How many did we need? Uh, decline. We need three baskets. Perfect. Everything now is, is, is good. You're all still placing stuff. Oh. Is it funny that the, my primary thing that I wanted to do was get pumpkins? 
<laughs> Pretty much the plan now is once we get all this done, uh, um, I'm going to get rid of two farmers. Make one of them a cook. Make one farmer a cook and then get give the other one, just tell them to be normal. People, you better... You ate my pumpkins, you little bastards! We're not going to make it. Oh, you little bastard, you ate my pumpkins. You ate all my pumpkins. We have one basket, and the guy's going to be back within 35 hours. So. How can I make this faster? What if I went like this and said, in this spot only, I want... Fruits and vegetables. Would they prioritize this because it's closer? Nope. Nah, no point. No point. Oh, these people are a pain in my butt. And there's, like, just... Oh. That moment where you're, you're, you're just shaking your head. Like, why? If you collected all of them in one shot, I, I'd be good to go. But you didn't. So I can't. So I can't. Just, just, <laughs> come on. Oh. If only this person showed up trying to sell, uh, and yeah, now we have none. So, we got wheat. Well, at least they're, they're prioritizing this location now. As I say, I heard that. He. Wait, seriously, the guy just walked over. I wish there was a way to prioritize this stuff. But there is not. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Are we going to luck out here? Oh, we might completely luck out. Ah, see, a lot of them are going bad now. No, we only got two baskets out of that. And then they wandered off. That person just ate one. Boo. Boo. Well, at least they're getting them all now. I can't see us having enough, and if we do, people are going to eat them all, so.
We got twelve baskets. We might might have enough. But you guys won't know until the next episode. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.